everyone, it's Blakely with Cooking for Bimbos, and I have a special treat for dessert. I love cherries, and in the summertime, they're plenty. Like, I just buy them by the pound, and I just always try to find new things to do with them. So I'm going to make a traditional French dessert. It's called a cherry clafouti, and it's basically like a baked, almost eggy, custard, really easy dessert, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So I have just a nine inch pan here. What I'm gonna do is take my stick of butter and just run it along everything. So what I'm gonna do is kind of butter and flour this. So whenever we go to scoop it out, it comes out without sticking everywhere. So you don't wanna have any of it stick because trust me, you're gonna wanna eat all of it. So what I do is just take my stick of butter so then I don't get it all over my fingers. I'm gonna rub it everywhere. And then just take a little bit Flour, just like that. Perfect. Kind of pat it all around. Perfect. Done. All right. So now, that's time to make the clafouti. So now, in here, I have two cups of cherries. So what I like to do is just cut them in half, kind of twist them apart, and just take out the pits. Or if you have a cherry pitter, perfect. So we're gonna, what we're going to do is just make a single layer here of our beautiful cherries. Look how nice and deep red those are. We're also going to do about two tablespoons of sliced almonds right in here. Just a little bit. There we go. Perfect. So set this aside and make our batter. Very easy to do. I have three eggs in here. I'm going to do three quarters of a cup of just granulated sugar. We're going to do one tablespoon of brown sugar. I'm going to add just a little pinch of salt here. I'm gonna give it a quick mix. Perfect. And then to that, I'm going to add a half cup of all-purpose flour. Get in there. Another little whisk. You don't want it. We want it nice and smooth. We don't want any clumps in it. All right. Perfect. And also, we're gonna do one cup of whole milk. Right in here. One cup of whole milk. And then I also have some almond extract. And the reason I'm doing that is because a traditional clafouti, they actually used to bake the cherries with the pits in them. And that's a little hard to eat. So, but leaving those pits in give it a kind of an almondy flavor. So we're replacing that with a little bit of almond extract. So putting some almond extract in there, as well as regular vanilla extract. Perfect. Give it another mix, and then we're ready to put it into our pan. So I have my oven preheated at 350. And we're gonna bake this for about 35 to 45 minutes depending on your oven. So you wanna make sure you check it about halfway through because sometimes the top will tend to get a little more brown than you want. So if, it's, if you start seeing they get really brown, we're gonna tint it with some aluminum foil. All right, right in here. Look how easy this dessert is. Perfect. So it's gonna, you're also gonna see it puff up quite a bit and then when it comes out, we're gonna finish it with a little bit of powdered sugar. And it's gonna be so good. So 350 for 35 to 45 minutes. And there you have my super delicious cherry clafouti. I hope you enjoy. Oh, hot. Oh.